doing the London Youth Games, my self-esteem grew because I was willing to do more things that I would not have done before entering the competitions. I met new people, which I still keep in contact with, that I'll probably see next year. What impresses me most about the kids that get involved is the fact that their determination to show that they can play the game is, is really wonderful. It's a very hard game, judo. Um, if you lose, you get hurt, and you have to get up and brush yourself down and get back into it. And so I, I love the fact um, that the kids come out there and try 100%. I would describe it as a sort of mini Olympics for kids. So it's their first experience of um, multi-sport event where they get to compete with other kids that are similar level to them and get experience of that sort of bigger competition. One moment that sticks out from all my London Youth Games experience over the past two years is having my work recognised and being nominated for the London Youth Games Young Game Force Award in 2014. It was just um, an honour to be part of such a prestigious category. If it wasn't for London Youth Games, I wouldn't be at uni. London Youth Games changed my life in terms of that. The London Youth Games is very important. I mean, getting the different kids from different areas to come together to achieve in one, one sport or achieve something as a, as a team and as a borough, it's, it, it, it's amazing because we do have, a, we used to have quite a lot of area wars and people from different sectors and different schools used to meet up and argue and meet up and fight and so on. So now they're meeting up to, to learn a sport and, and participate together. So the London Youth Games plays a, a huge role in that. I can't put a price on the experience that London Youth Games given me. I think it's helped with Assad's confidence quite a lot. Having seen him over the years becoming more and more confident in all the stuff that he's doing. Thank and I you, think Kirby. it made you believe that the university was possible. Once the time stopped, I was so relieved because after three years, I'd finally got the gold. <laughs> it's static, like, just couldn't. I was off the ram machine straight away. It's great. When I won my silver medal, I had lost my first fight and I thought I didn't have any fights left, but I was told I had another fight. Went out and fought and won, so I got my silver medal. When I won my medal, I felt overjoyed, proud and accomplished. The London Youth Games helped me to achieve things I didn't think I could on. I love it. It's given me so many wonderful opportunities and it's just a really wonderful atmosphere to be part of. London Youth Games helped my career because it was a starting point of me competing, learn how to race, uh, learn about the sport I wanted to compete in, but also it kind of put me on that pathway uh, to you know, going on to compete at the Olympic Games and kind of living out my dream of winning the Olympic gold medal. I'd say the London UK was definitely a starting point for my swimming. Um, as I said, it's one of my first competitions and it's one of the first competitions that I won medals at as well. So I'd say that's been the drive from the very start. It gave me the first sort of taste of success and from then it hasn't really stopped. If someone asked me if they should be involved in London Youth Games, I would say they should because you meet new friends, you discover new sports, and it's a, it's a great experience. If I had one word to describe the London Youth Games, it would be challenging. Brilliant. Awesome. Exciting. The, Lon what, no. the London Youth Games. <laughs> London Youth Games is exciting. Monumentous. Challenging. One word I'd use to describe the London Youth Games as an achievement. My sentence to the London Youth Games would be life-changing and the most incredible experience of my life. 